hello everybody this is Sonia and welcome to my channel um, I'm just going to write down what time I've got to finish this because I've dropped my timer over there behind the fan <laughs> and can't get it back so we're going to write down that I'll need to finish this at 11.10 what am I doing? 11.10 okay now we're going to do some work on this piece here um some crazy patchwork uh one of my absolute favorites to do as you will know that and all well, this is slow stitching anyway it's just in a slow stitching in its own right really isn't it <laughs> um so i want to cover up that patch see there's a See here, because I didn't turn it all under, because otherwise it would have turned up like bulky, and that doesn't matter. But I really needed to um, make it flat, and it worked better for me. So I need to put something over this part here. And I was looking at putting this bit on there, but then I don't know, because I'll get um, a bit anxious probably and pull it off there, but I don't know yet. Uh, so what could we put on there? We might have a little bit of lace or something to put across that, do we? Um, this one here might look nice. A bit too pink, I don't know. don't think there's any such thing when you're doing something like this, anything too pink. <laughs> yes, kind of like that. That could do. Or we have a blue one there. I don't know if I want to put it on there, let me see. I'm just um, looking through a few bits. Let's see if I can see something that I can use. I think this is too white. I'm not a big fan of putting the white on these things. Although they... A bit, I need a piece of this. I need a bit of this. Okay. Maybe that's for a different style for when I do another different thing one day. <laughs> that one is a bit different style there for that. Um, excuse me. Just put my arm under there. Sorry. You can tell it's winter time. I'm back in my, in my, my shirt. <laughs> one of my favourite shirts to wear. It is. Um, I have a lot of uh, bits and pieces about here. Just got to find the right thing, don't you? Really, you do. Now this will look. This actually looks like it's got something up the inside of it, like it's a, it's a piece of um, cotton in through the inside of it, or something. That on there, I guess. Mm. And then you can put it up there as well. I don't know. I'm going to sit down in there. I think I might look for a bit of, bit of lace for that. Now, these are too thick, I think. Too wide. Well, these might be a bit too wide, these laces. I think I got that out the other day to have a look and see if I had something that would go. I do like this this green thing. This bit of green stuff. Fluffy. That's it. That's what I'm putting on there. A bit wild, but I'm going with that. <laughs> I like it. I think I do. I think I do. Don't second guess yourself, Son. You decide now if you do or not. You must decide now. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Because I've got. It's not a lot. It's only a bit of it going, going down that way, isn't it? See? If, you, if I fasten that on there. Probably give it a little tiny trim, you know, just give it, you know, so it's hairs and so, and so long. 
stitch this all the way along there, okay? And have I got a threaded needle? Let me see. Nope, I'll use this. A bit of cotton. Look at me being really 57 minutes of cotton and getting stuff off the table. <laughs> okay. I do love the colour of this. And I reckon if I put it on here, it's going to work okay. I might cut off some first and see what it looks like. Let's just cut these big long pieces off it. That's better. Okay, put that down like that. He's a bit curly in his thing. He just wants to go all over the place. Now I've got to make sure that I catch that green bit on the side because otherwise I'll be just putting it through nothing because these other pieces are, are just like a trim on it, like it's a hair. This bit here is where it's fastened together. Is what I need to make sure I fasten that down. Okay, because otherwise it'll it won't be hanging on to it at all if I stitch over in here. Okay, so what's going on here? Have I got oh, it's coming apart. Oh, that's not going to help me, is it? Now we have to take that off. Okay, that didn't last long. I don't know if I should cut that knot, that might not be the right knot. We'll just cut this side. <laughs> might not be the right knot knot. And I'll have a terrible mess, won't I? If I cut that. Right, so that's not gonna work. Let's put something there for goodness sakes on you must have something you can put on it. Let's go and do something else for a minute. Just go away from that. Put a decent sized bit of thread on here. <coughs> So you can get more than one one stitch on. I think I found what I'm going to do. I wish I fit, I wish I knew where those Chanel things were under his bags behind me, but I don't want to go fishing through them at the time being. I'm going to when I come under here, I'll have to get that bits of wool. I'm ready for next time. Okay. Now I threaded a bead needle. I don't know why, but I've got a bead needle. So I've got this tiny, tiny bit of Chanel that I have kept for so long. It's just years and years and years and years that I've had this. I'm actually going to see if I can make it cover the edge. I can't. I don't think it's wide enough to go along its edge, the edge here. I suppose I'll put two thicknesses. Nobody said I couldn't. Okay, so I'm going to put two thicknesses of it. <coughs> if I had the other one, you wouldn't have to do this. Okay, so I'm just going to get the end of it up here. <coughs> and go over that piece like so and I don't think I'll put anything I'm going to go over the top of both of them and keep them really close to the seam so you can't see that the seam is there okay I mean now I've got, to, I've got a knot okay so I'm going to go over like this both together go over like that there okay so this is sort of couching this on too now aren't we we're making it so it's going to cover the seams you can't see them okay just lay it down flat come up and underneath it down here underneath there it's going to make it a little curvy and that doesn't matter just don't pull it too tight if you're doing this if you're joining a bit together just make sure you don't pull it down too tight so it doesn't because we're disguising the seam okay that's what the idea is here. And so if you turned all your seams over, you won't have to 
be so careful about covering it over like I'm trying to do here. find all the other Chanel bits that I've got there. I'm going to pull that a little bit tight so it comes in a tiny bit. There we go. Now this is a piece of thread that's holding it down and I'm going to take that out. Okay. I'm going to take it back to where that end bit's going to be. And that should stay down finally when I stitch it, won't it? It will stay there when I've stitched it. And if you're not real sure if it's going to stay there or not, just could have glued it in the first place, but no, it's a hassle if you get stuck stuck if the glue gets in your way and you're trying to stitch something it's not really fun you can't get the glue off and I might come back again and do I don't know if I want to come back over there and do it with that colour I could probably do it with something with another colour and that'll hold it down nice this is just ideas, you know, for things that you can use. If you haven't got, what you know, other things, you can just do that with a piece of wool, maybe. A bit of, wool, a bit of wool or something. Now I'm going to put a piece of thread through this one. No, I'm not, not that colour. I want this, I want the mauve colour. I'm going to put the mauve on there. Now I'm going to take, make stitches over top of that. Okay stitch over the top of it. I do love how that turned out. I really do. I like how it's all going really. Let's see if I can thread this like this. If I fold it over in half, sometimes it will go through for me. You know, that broken fingernail, I'll be right. I got it. Got it. I'm just going to do a cross stitch over this I think very yep I am so it will stay there and it'll be interesting at the same time I hope but that wasn't good because I picked up a bit of that uh, material and it come up untucked So you just go up, down in there and up and down in here and back that way and here and down in here and now it's not going to go anywhere I hope it's oh goodness me that um, it's very thick very, even though I did it's very thick that piece even though I did that fix it now how's that Does that look alright I think it does I think it turned out pretty good now here there's a little bit of an issue because I think that piece of um, what's the name now I wouldn't be scared just to put a bit of glue there you know just to give it a Make sure it's stuck down, you know, because it just wants to sneak out that bit of that piece. He wants to get away from us, doesn't he? Looks pretty good. Right. 
Now, I want to do some um, different things on here. Got to think about what. Maybe I should do these edges. Maybe I should do a few more edges. Just, just one or two edges now for with this. How about the. Is that the bus? Why would the bus. I suppose it could be running today, I guess. <laughs> I guess it could be running today. Um, yeah, so I need, a, I need to put a few more stitches down. So maybe I should work over here while I'm at this. Is it bent over? No, it's not. Okay. So I'll do a chain stitch down along here and see what it looks like. Alright, I'll come down this way and do a chain stitch. Oh dear, I'm going through too many things. Now I've got to... You go back up to the top and you come down like this, see? And you pull that, not too far. And then I'm going to take it down the back. Take it out to the back. Okay, now I'm going to come up near that bit because I don't want to actually come up inside it again. And then I'm going to come across this way with the chain. Alright, and then go down there. This way I'm fastening it down. It's not exactly, it's like a detached chain and it's joined. <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? But I'm just doing this so it's got both, so I've got both sides of the fabric, both pieces of fabric joined together. I mean, just thread, I just come unthreaded. See, so it's going like that. Can't get it through there. Let's try again. Come on, you can do this. It's only warm in here now. Okay. You go down down the back. Right. This is a variation of it, okay? Because you can do a lot of different variations of things, and this is and this is a variation of a chain stitch because I'm trying to make it go crisscross over over this piece here, okay? So I'm going across that way. Don't pull it too tight. Go down the back, <coughs> come up in inside of there again, but do go stay right down the bottom. I've got to go back in there again <laughs> and come out down here. I don't know. And I must have made a mistake with that. I think I've done a, I've done a faux pas there, but I'm going to I'll go backwards under it. Put this back under there and now it's right I had it twisted okay so go down the back I twisted it so we come up here and we go down there and we got that and we'll take out the cotton that's underneath it in a minute okay I don't know if you can see this properly, but we're going this way, this way, this way, this way, and back and forth like that, okay? <laughs> but I want it joined together, that's why I've put it so close, because it's joined together. It's like a detached chain joined together. You do a detached chain when you're making a daisy, like a flower, you know, you do a detached chain then. Now your idea too with these crazy patchwork things is that you cover it with stuff. You cover them really good. You know, you don't see many of these. It's only very sparsely done. They have lots of stuff on them. They do. It's good. It is. Coming out, going in the wrong place. Going in the wrong place too many times on you. Oh, I've got to have enough to get to the end, surely. You go faster, you don't run out of thread or what. <coughs> I'm not going to have enough thread, I don't think, because I want to finish it off right at the end. And this is not going to make it, so I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put another piece on. It's worth doing than trying to um, manoeuvre it round there and just losing what you're doing. 
A bit more thread. Right. There's some goings on over the road, see? Noisy people. We have some noisy neighbours. He's a bit really quiet up here once, there's nobody lived across there. Uh, well, I suppose people have got to do what they've got to do, don't they? Can't really sit down and be quiet all day. <clears throat> now back up here. Bring it down this way. I'd like to do a series on something myself, but I don't know. Because I get so, if I get my all my issues sorted out, my health issues, which I should be doing at the beginning of next year, I have appointments. Hopefully, well, I've been really good since I haven't been having to take those tablets. And um, I felt really good anyway. So I'd like to do some sort of a... Um, series on something but I think it'd have to be something I haven't done before don't you reckon I'm doing some video I love to do a journal so I've got to make it another journal uh, and I do like to do this so we're doing this um, I love doing the beading which I haven't got an idea for any more of that just at the moment we can't have everything though can we <laughs> even though I do like to do lots of different things so that looks pretty good, except that one's a little bit skewy. For this, all right, he'll be okay. We'll fix him. He'll look all right later when everything's done. Now, I do have a dress on underneath my top, so I intend to take. Because I got up this morning, and put a dress on because I thought it was going to be warm today, and then I put the top on over top of my dress. But now that's better because I've got got a bit warm now. It looks like it's getting a bit warmer outside, so that's better. Well, I think that's the moment. Yeah, everything was closed yesterday. I suppose they couldn't stay, because I had Monday and Tuesday, I think, to, to make up for the weekend Christmas. Didn't they? So I'm liking that, but I want to bling it up a bit, okay? So I've got the needle and thread here. I've got some gold beads I think they'll look busy classy a bit classy don't you along here I know that's gold along there but I might put these in here I'll put these ones across here so I'll put some beads in those little gaps there that one put it up a bit higher I'll put this one down here sounds like hubby might be looking for something out there <laughs> goodness me Maybe he's recycling the garbage bins because I think it. Yep, that's what he's doing. He's recycling the. putting his bins out. Woo! Sometimes things get put where they're not supposed to. When you have visitors, they don't necessarily put stuff in the right bin. Well, you know. Didn't really matter, you couldn't really stand over them and watch them do it, could we? That's a bit big, that bead. Got to take it off, can't do that. I'll put a small one there in its place, I can't have a little one. It's too big. Oh dear. Come on. Got that. <laughs> Okie dokie. So when you watch this, this will be a different Wednesday, won't it be next Wednesday? I don't know <laughs> which Wednesday it'll be on here. 
Where is that big one and why is it so big? They look all the same size. I thought they were all the same size. But obviously they're not. I've put two sizes in there, haven't I? Accidentally. At least I didn't pull that down far enough. I don't know. It'll be fine. If it's not, it'll be fine. Definitely made to last these things, aren't they? This sort of sewing. Not every sewing is, but some nice bits on it. Where am I over here? Yes. I think there is two different sizes. Goodness me, Sonia. How'd you do that? Look at that. There is, look, see. Anyway, I hope you can see what I'm doing. It's the main thing, I suppose. Whether I put a bigger bead on there or not, it doesn't really show up that bad. I don't think it matters. Right, another one up here. Okay, that looks nice, doesn't it? It shows up really well, those beads. I'll put another one up here just because I want to. Gold ones. Do some. Um, I'm gonna make a flower. Just make a flower. The bullion stitch. People call it a bullion knot, but I, I believe it's a bullion stitch. But uh, you know, it just depends if you want to. It doesn't really matter what you call it. And I might put it here in the middle. I've got to figure out what colour to do that. Now the same. This will work. This this um, needle because it's fairly long because you need a long needle if you're going to do this um, and so I'm going to get another thread of some sort where have I put them under here yeah, they're under here I've got yellow that'll look good on that it will go really well actually I'll try this one see what it looks like actually I'm only going to use one strand of this it was on something that I got from somewhere. I don't know what sort of thread it is. But it's, each one of them is pretty thick in itself, each strand. There's like four strands in that, I think. Right. Yeah, there is. I don't know whether that marmon went past us or he stopped. Probably only putting rubbish in the bins. Okay, so I don't know if I should put it in the centre. I'll just try it here. I'm just going to do a, I'm going to do a uh, flower. So, a bullion stitch. Hang on a minute. I've got to go that way. Back down here. Up there. And then you're going to wrap as many as would fit in that space. I'm going to say now we're up here. So I've gone a little bit over because I wanted to. Now hang on to that. Very carefully wiggle this through while you're hanging on. Doesn't matter if a bit comes out, which that did happen. Keep it down, push it down, push it down, push it down. Keep going. And you get this, okay? And I have it 20 wrapped on it. So, 
I can make it go flat like that or I can make it curl up if I hadn't been pulled through that far. So there's one one piece. <laughs> I should have did it. I should have did it more. I should have did it better, shouldn't I? So we'll go across here. I'll show you show in a minute what I'm going to do with it. But you need enough wrap so it's going to make a. Oops. <laughs> carried away there talking and forgot what I was doing. Okay, pull this back through. Now I can actually pull that back through there, that thread, and it's making a curl because I did a lot of wraps. See? Make a little hooky thing. So if I, I'll do that. I won't pull it through too tight. Need 20 wraps for it to do that, don't we? So you go out here. Go back down that way. Back to the centre. Push it up as far as you can. Don't take it all the way through. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, very carefully take this through. Hang on to it. Let it roll through. It's catching up into a little knot here. We'll fix that. All right, hang on to it. Push it down with your fingers. Go. Give it a bit of a roll. And I should have did it the other way around because I've got the. <laughs> this has got this piece that's going on. What? How did I do that? I don't know, Sonia. Now this should be curling on this end, but it's not curling on that end. <laughs> and I've curled it completely around now. Look at me. Persistence. You do be persistent with it. It's, there's a lot of wraps in it, so it's going to go everywhere. But where I want it to go, by the look of this, well, look, that's, that's okay. Right, we're not going to fight with it. But once we go there, let us. I'm going to go over it like this. Nearly got it. Wait a minute. Anybody? Nobody panic. Okay, so I'm supposed to take it from the inside out. Am I outside in? Outside in. Outside in. I think back this way. It doesn't matter whether they're going to be exactly the same or anything like that because they'll sit nicely and it's where you want it to be, I hope. I just have a scratchy, oh, itchy face every time, you know, things start to itch. <laughs> I don't know why. One, two, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Right oh. Now probably I picked the wrong choice in thread. Because it is a bit it's nylony and it's wants to be all over the place except where I want it to go. Come on now, look here. Wait a minute. Come on now. Hang on. Nobody panic. Okay. <laughs> Goody. Right. Look at that. It just works straight away, that one, so we're not going to muck around with it. I think I took the other... I think I've taken this one out in the wrong, out the wrong direction. I don't know. I should have come from the... I mean, you can curl it. It'll curl. <laughs> It'll curl around. It'll be fine from the outside in, I suppose. That's what I was doing, wasn't I? Just going around making a, a bit of a flower. I'm going to run out of thread shortly. But I think you'll get the idea. We can come back on here and work on it the next week. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now don't worry, you'll get your... You will hit your hands on that, you'll do everything wrong, you'll get this too tight, you won't be able to pull it through. 
it's okay. You can keep practicing until I come back on here again, okay? <laughs> It'll be fine. Needle will come unthreaded. That's what just happened to me. And when I pull that down, I shouldn't take it too far because I need to get it curly, see? I need it to be curled. But I, I, I do this rolling thing here, which seems to um, help it a bit. It settles it into, into place. Okay. I don't think I've got enough thread to do another one, but I'm, I need to fasten this one to the... I was going to say to the ground. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Oh, dear. I don't even drink, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I say the silliest things. Look at that. I do love that. I'm going to have to end this off because I need something more substantial to, to sew it with. I want, to, I want to, um, more cotton. Let's see it. More cotton, eh? Now you can put this, you can do this, um, a whole heap of them and make one of those interesting flowers. I wish I had got that run the right way, but anyway, what are we going to do? It's a wayward bit. I'm, I'll stitch it in place in a minute. I'll, I'll show it, you know. <laughs> I'll stitch it in place. Yeah, definitely getting warmer now. It is. I'll stitch that in place. I'm actually going to do that now. I'm not going to stand for this any longer. I better put a knot in. Did I, did I did a knot, did I? Yeah, I'm going to stitch that. How am I going to do this? Now, I've come up in the wrong place, haven't I? I'm going, to, I'm going to move it over there so it won't keep getting away from me. How about that? That's a little bit right. It's a little bit right. And come out here. Bring it back down here. Go back up to there. Try not to go through anything you know business. Keep away from bits on the back. Hold your needle like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Right, now push it through. I shouldn't have did it too tight, I hope I didn't. There we go. Hang on to it. Hold on to it. I don't want to fiddle with it too much because we don't want to change the look the look of the thing. Now, if I did 30 wraps, I'd get really nice curly bits, I really would, it'd be absolutely awesome if I did 30 wraps, and um, we could probably do one of them directly, but, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay, That one worked really well. It's just exactly how I wanted it to go. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't that good? Doesn't matter if some of them are skew if I'm not gonna be too too picky. That's the one I stitched tried to stitch down and it's alright. I'm gonna come across here, start at the outside, bring it up there, okay, and do one here and maybe if we stop looking at that one, it might look okay. Because <laughs> you've got to stop picking at it. I do, I've got to stop picking at it. Okay, so I've got my hand on this bit. I've got my, my thumb on that piece of the um, needle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Now, if it doesn't work first time, just keep going. It's really worth the try. Really worth a try. Probably use some crochet thread or some um, cotton, you know, some embroidery thread to do yours so it doesn't... Well, I'm really impressed with that. I really like that. I might do another one here. What do you reckon? Put in as many as you like. It's one of those flowers, you know. It's a sport. 
that's what you call it. It can be anything. It's a good sport and it can be anything. <laughs> the lady I went to the Embroiders Guild with used to call it. Then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yes, if there was a flower that was unidentifiable, it was called a sport by her because, you know, it was just going to stay like it was and be a good sport and sit there. <laughs> yep. That was a long time ago, goodness. Okay. Put this back through there. Take it through to the back. Might not have rolled him enough. He's going to sit that way anyway, isn't he? Pull it down too fast on you. Okay. Now there seems to be a gap, but I can't put any more on there. I've got not enough cotton to do that. You'll make sure you've got plenty of thread, but you don't want to be getting yourself tangled up in it. Okay, so that's one of those. I do like how that turned out. I really do. And then I can put something in the centre of it, and it won't be that. It won't be this. It might be that. It might be a little button or something. Okay. This is a nice little pink one. I like the little purple one. He looks pretty good. You can put that in there, or I can put a, um, a French knot in the middle. Uh, have I got something threaded to do the French knot? I think I want the bling. I definitely think I want a bit of bling on it. Okay, so I'm going to put that on there. There's a bead needle, Sonia. Here we are. I don't really need the bead needle. I just need it to have a bit of thread through it so I can put the button on there. Okay. A little purple button on it. Where'd you go? Oh my goodness me, don't tell me I've tipped him on the floor or something. Oh, there he is, here. Go down in this side. Yeah, this way. Could be an octopus. I don't think it's got eight legs, has it? I didn't count them. Oh, it has. <laughs> ah, dear me. Yeah, maybe I should have put another one out here. I could do that later. I feel like I should add one more. Righto. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you are all staying safe and, and having a good day crafting. Sewing or whatever you like to do. This is starting to get more stuff on it. It's starting to look really cool isn't it okay <laughs> thank you everybody for watching i'll talk to you later bye bye